God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of us will be with you all. My beloved, today is 18th day of July, being Thursday with 15, not the time of the church calendar year 2. I read this will be coming from Prophet Isaiah chapter 26, verse 7 to 9, verse 12, and verse 16 to 19. A response to Psalm will come from Psalm 102, verse 2 TB. A gospel message will come from Matthew Gospel chapter 11, verse 28 to 30. The theme of our message today is, Come to me, all of you who are troubled and don't value God. Come to me, all of you who are troubled. It's Jesus who invited us. In all your problems, in all your distress, your sickness, and you are being oppressed, turn to God. He is the one who invited us. We didn't invite him. He's the one who said, come to me when you are over, uh, over leopard and over troubled. Come to me, over body, and I give you rest. Learn from me, for my heart is humble and meek. And you find rest for your heart. Yes. The yoke I give you is light. The burden I give you is simple. What is the yoke? Keep the commandments of God. And God, by coming to me in your problems. That's what the yoke gave. And the burden gave us. Live your life for the glory of God and for good of others. That's all what God demands from all of us. And when you do that, you have peace. When you do that, you achieve the purpose of a being. When you do that, you glorify God. When you do that, you benefit others. If you recognize that God demands you to come to him with your problems, you will not carry any work. And when you surrender all your problems to God and go to God for it, you will never, you will never be distressed. You will never have blood pressure. You will not commit suicide. You will not despair. But otherwise, those things will be your share. You will despair. You will be depressed. You will commit suicide. You can kill you can go mental. That's why I say, come to me, all of you, over labor, and I give you rest. It's the promise he made to all of us. And now I have the chapters of perpetual adoration where we meet God himself face to face. Yes, that was I say, call upon me and I will answer you. In your distress, I will save you. He's the one who invited you. So if you fail to carry your trouble to God, everything that is worrying you, go to him. He's the one who invited you. That you are childless, go to him. He will give you a child. That you are sick, go to me, we will heal you. That people are pressing you, go to him, we will fight for you. That you are hungry, go to me, we will feed you. It's the answer to your problem. Go to him. But many of us will not do that. We we'll find out, our, we believe our sister is in Syria, our Syria is in Flanese, our sister is in a, 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 a religious bigotry, and many other things, funny things, and keep up perpetually wretched and poor and confused and despairing. And as I say, when you put your trust in men, on what it is, you'll be like a sorted ground. Good things will never come from you. Confide, Isaiah chapter, uh, confide Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7. You'll be like a sorted ground when you put your trust in all these things. But when you put your trust in God, you will live in peace, you have peace, you have joy. So come to me, all of you who are available, and I give you rest. And all the yoke you, he gave you is to keep the commandments of God. And all the burden, live your life for the good of others and glory of God. That's all what he demands from me and you. And now why the prophet, prophet Isaiah was prophesizing today, the way of the righteous is level. That is, the way of the righteous is level. You make smooth the path of the righteous. In the path of your judgment, O oh Lord, we wait for you, you, your memory, your memorial name is the desire of my souls. Yes, the people who are inside of God who come to him. My soul yearns for you in the night. My spirit within me endlessly seeks you. You see, when you turn yourself to God and God alone, for when your judgment are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world reign righteousness. Yes. And that's why you see it. Oh Lord, you have ordained peace for us. You have wrought for us all our works. Oh Lord, in distress, they sought you. Yes, in distress, we sought you. They pour out a prayer when you chastened 
when you are chastening, it was upon them. Yes, when you say silent, then they turn to prayer, calling upon you. Like a woman with a child who reads and cries out in, in her pains, bang. We were with a child. We littered, we littered, but we give birth only to wind. Yes. When you do it on your own, you give way, you will not achieve the purpose on your own. But if you turn to God automatically, the situation will change. And he said, O dwellers in the dust, awake and sing for joy, for your dew is a dew of light. And on the land of these sheds, you will let it fall. You see? If people will turn to him, he will answer their prayers and save them from their distresses. Who are in trouble, call upon him, save them from all their troubles. Or who think that they can do it, or they will perish. And that's why the psalmist understood this wonderful message today. This say, look at it. The Lord looks down from heaven to the earth. Yes, he looks down from heaven to earth to care for people who are in great need. He invited them to do that. And get help us understand today that God has invited us to come with our problems. We don't need to carry them ourselves or go about gossiping now. But then turn back to the Lord. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will surrender ourselves and everything back to God and live for Him and Him alone. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Music